Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are here with the lovely Diamond. Hello. So Diamond, where are you from? Atlanta, Georgia. So what are you doing today? Surging. Okay. So we're making leg pieces. Um, and what else with those leg pieces? A bodysuit. V-neck bodysuit, right? Mm-hmm. So, have you ever surged before? No, never. And this is really stressful. Is it really stressful? It is really stressful. My, my anxiety is kicking in. Why is it kicking in? I'm not thinking of her. You make me nervous. I told you that. Are you doing a good job, though? I am. You're a very great teacher. Okay. Did you get it? Like, what was the hardest part about the surger? Staying straight and narrow. And keeping the... Um, the bottom when you're closing it, keeping it focused towards the needle. Because I just be like, oh, that's the end. I've got to let it go. Okay. So I have to stay more grounded and keep everything together. Keep my seams together. So you figured it out, though, in maybe five, six times of practice? Yes. So, you guys, this is what she practiced on right here. So for you to say that it was so stressful... It would have took a whole lot of time for you to figure it out, but you really figured it out. So you didn't give yourself enough credit. Right. You're, you're absolutely right. And then I like, I try to rush things. And when you told me to slow it down, I got a little more focused. And you did it. You did it within five, ten minutes. Yeah. So learning a new skill in five to ten minutes is really, really good versus you sitting here, we got eight hours. You could have been practicing on that for eight hours straight. You did it within 10 minutes, you figured it out. So I wouldn't think that's stressful. I think you just didn't give yourself enough credit because you've done a great job. My armpits are saying that's stressful. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's really exciting though. And I'm, I'm so glad that I learned to use this because I would just only stick with the sewing machine. I never even really knew about this machine. Okay, so yeah, we're about to watch her do her second one. And we're not going to make her nervous because she already did this before. So. You hold your bottom. Yeah, I'm excited for her. Do you know she came down from Atlanta? She stayed up all night, tired, working, but she still pushed through and came to do what she kept saying that she was going to do, to follow through. You know that's really hard. We all know that's hard to where we make excuses and... We come up with every reason why not to push through. But she pushed through, and she drove up. It was three and a half, almost four hours away. It was the father? I left at 4.45. A.M. I, I got stuck in traffic because of the um, tractor trailer had caught on fire. So I was sitting there like 50 minutes. I literally had an anxiety attack. I was crying and everything. I was like, I'm going to miss my class. But guess what? She pushed through, and she got here on time, and she didn't even call me to even tell me anything to where, like, oh, I'm stuck in traffic, it's a trailer on fire, anything. I knew I was going to make it, though. I was like, you're going to make it wait. I'm going to get there on time, because I was like, I had, like, two hours left, but I was like, remember you said leave early just in case, and I'm glad I did, because Lord knows, had I left at 530, like I said, I would have been late. So, do you feel safe? What do you feel... Um, what was your perception of it before you got here, before you booked it, before you, from the beginning when you met me on YouTube, like you said? I felt like I knew you from YouTube. Oh. I, I said, I hope she don't think I'm crazy, but I'm following everything that she has. So I went from your YouTube, and then I was like, I think I commented on your YouTube, and I'm like, what's your um, Instagram? And then I was like, let me try her, I mean, her YouTube name. So I tried the YouTube name, and I was like, Boom, okay. So I was just all on your Instagram and I was like, hmm, let me try Facebook. So I went on Facebook. Oh on yay. <laughs> yay. I was like, okay, she's gonna think I'm a stalker. But it's okay. I don't mind. So you stalking for good things. You stalking for knowledge and knowledge is only gonna make you more money. And you're you're very informative and you're not like hounding over me trying to make sure that I'm doing it. You're like letting me work at my own pace, but at the same time, you're showing me like what steps that I need to make to improve it so that I won't keep doing the same thing over and over again. Correct. So, Do you feel like um, 
It was worth your money? Mm-hmm. Well worth it. And then you're not the type of person that is just like, you're all about your business, but you're also like, I want to get to know my clients as well. It's not like, oh, I'm just going to do this and then she's going to go on by her way and I'm going to forget about her. Mm-hmm. I, I like it. Okay. Did you learn some stuff today when you went fabric one-on-one? I did. I learned about um, four-way stretch material. And just because it has stretch doesn't mean it's going to stretch always. Mm-hmm. And you want to be able to get four-way stretch because everybody's body is not the same. So you want to make sure that even if it's, um, how can I say it? It's not, it's not necessarily a custom piece, mm-hmm. but it's able to fit certain. One size fit most, yeah. basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I was so did you learn about discounts today? Did you learn about yeah. finding good yeah. deals? Ones, but you can't stack them on the same item. Mm-hmm. Um, I learned to always check the prices on your fabrics first. Because you never know what's on sale. Before they cut it. Right, before they cut it. Because once they cut it, it's over with. Where, just giving somebody a gym, where can they find cheap fabric for 50 to 75% off? Rembrandt. In the remnant? Mm-hmm. Remnant. <laughs> the remnant. In the remnant section. Okay. I was close. I was close. You was great. You mm-hmm. was great. So, um, I think that's been, Are you safe? Do you feel safe? Very safe. You made sure that I got here when I told you my experience. He was like, you know, if you need to take a breather, take a moment, just let me know. And I was like, no, I'm ready to get in because once I'm moving, I'm moving. I can't just stop. So, you know, you made me feel very comfortable. You asked me, was I hungry? Did I eat this morning? You said, you know, <laughs> breakfast is what's needed for the first meal of the day. Mm-hmm. You made sure that I was happy. Um, Cause safety is important. A lot of a lot of people. And you told me don't drive like that again. Yeah, I did, and I told her before she leave today because she did. She has been up since before four a.m. And I told her before she leave today, I'm gonna make sure that she doles off just to get a couple of hours or at least eight hour before she get on the road again. That's better safe than sorry, you guys. Trust me, I've been on the road. I used to travel a whole lot on the road and everybody that died on the road thought that they could make it. If they knew that that was going to be their last time, they would have just got a few minutes. Even if it's just 30 minutes, it feel like a whole lot whenever you're driving long distance. So that's really, really important. And you guys, I forgot my fabric, and she didn't have to take me on the field trip, but she did. I did and take I'm on a field trip. Because you actually get to go in there and feel and see exactly what materials you need and what you can use versus you being in the blind, like, oh, okay, well, let me just try this fabric. And, and then waste the money. Right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm very, 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 very happy. I'm blessed to have met you. I'm thankful I met you, too. And she's also a spiritual woman, you guys. Yes, I am. I am. Yeah, I tried. I was almost ratchet today in the store, though. Good thing she didn't have to be over. God, God stepped in at the right time. He definitely did. Okay, yeah. So I'm really thankful for her. I'm glad. And we're just going to watch her make this little leg piece, and then we're going to get off here. And you guys, I am giving her something for this review because I really believe the reviews are important, but she's not lying about anything, just so you know. Right, this is not a pay review. It's not a pay review. It's just a tip review. By her doing a review, I want to bless her because it's important. And I feel like a lot of people, they feel more comfortable with reviews. You know, I definitely would. If I was going to do something new, I would like to see how other people's experience was. And everybody can't tell the same lie. Remember that. You just made even comfortable just off of your YouTube videos, just off your knowledge and how... You put it out there. Somebody can tell you something, but you can tell that you're passionate about what you do. Some people teach stuff, but it's like, it's real boring. And it's like, I really don't want to sit here and look at this video, but I know I want to because I want to learn it. But you make it fun. You make it interesting. So are you able to video and take pictures of anything that you need in the class? Like Yes. You're not limiting nobody. You let me take pictures. You let me record. And I asked because, you know, everybody doesn't like to be recorded. But you like, baby, go ahead and do what you need to do. So, yeah. Yeah, and she got all her notes. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, I'm bragging too much. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, we're going to do the leg piece. I'm and sorry. So, we have to keep the seams together mm-hmm. as much as possible because this machine cuts off the excess. 
Don't put your hands on the right side of the machine or you're not going to have my fingers. Yeah, you're going to be fingerless, <laughs> tipless. <laughs> So, let's go. And she said, take your take your time. Don't try to rush it because you will end up with an outfit that's either too small, lopsided, or it's going to be... Are you going to chop it off? Right. But she got this, y'all. This is the same machine that she said was so stressful. And she just did one leg piece already, and she's on her second one right now. And I'm nervous all over again like it's the first one. No, they watching you. They want to see you. All it's going to do is encourage people that never touched a machine to believe that they can do the same thing that you're doing. Because this is your first time touching it and you're going to make a whole outfit. That is an accomplishment. It is. Very much so. You got this, girl. I just want to make sure. Because I can always go back and pinch this, right? No. No? You hold that. You hold that because it makes it lopsided if you don't hold on to that. So remember, you hold that with your right hand, uh -huh. and then you <laughs> you hold that with your right hand, and then you just line it, I like just make sure as right here. Right. Mhm. Mm you just pull it over, or you can bring the back piece, like you can scoot the side piece. But see, you only focus on what's right here in front of you. Right. So, so like, if it's moving, let me see. Let me see. So, like, let's say oh, this is a toughie. You did great. There you go. Look, you see it? So now you got it. And always stay away from the blade. Don't go past this blade. Why? What happens if you go past the blade? Because it's going to cut off the axis and then also, like you said, don't put your finger in there because it's going to cut it yeah, off. Yeah, your finger going to be <laughs> off. But, and then you guys are going to see that it's cutting off the axis. You're doing great. Yeah, just make sure it's doubled on top of it. I see a clear part. I see a part on top of it. This not. There you go. Yeah, just bring it. <laughs> you got this. Uh-uh. It ain't lined. Yeah, line it on back. Yeah, there you go. Line it back and make sure it's flat. So look, let me show you. Mm-hmm. So look. There you go. But you got it. You still holding your other piece? Okay. Mm hmm I got that locked in. But y'all, the serger, if you've used a serger before, you do know that the serger is fast and it does have a lot of power. That's her with her foot on the thing, that noise. <laughs> okay, now reposition it, uh-uh, reposition it. You see it? No, 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 reposition oh, your thing. You have to make sure it stay layered together. Move your finger for it be on the other side. <laughs> Yeah, she is doing so good. For her first time using a surgery? Yes, honey. Atlanta, y'all better watch out. Because I'm on the way. She's coming. Move your finger. There you go. It's okay if it's a little off. It's fine. Mm -hmm. here. So are you done when you do it one time? No, you always go over it more than, at least, at least twice. There you go. Because you want to make sure that your um, thread is secure. Mm -hmm. And your outfit don't fall apart. So you guys, we're going to post our finished product. I'm about to focus back on her and give her time. We're going to um, post our finished product on our page. How can they find you? At I am Diamond J, I-A-M-D-Y-M-O-N-N-J. Diamond J where? On Instagram. Is that your only platform? Yes. At the moment? At the moment. 
Okay, you guys. So make sure y'all follow her. And I'm going to tag her as well on my Instagram. So as soon as we're done with her outfits, we're going to tag her finished results. Thank you again, Diamond. And I hope y'all enjoyed her video.